welcome back to History in a Hurry. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Claire Marie Hodges, and we're also going to kind of just briefly kind of mention her connections to our nation's uh, history and land. Uh, Claire Marie Hodges actually has a strong, strong connection to uh, Yosemite National Park. She actually, in 1916, was a teacher at the Yosemite Valley School, um, but in 1918, as more and more male rangers were being pulled away to go serve in World War I, she approached the superintendent, Washington Lewis, about becoming a ranger, and he said, I've often thought of uh, including a woman on these patrols, and he hired her, and she became the first female park ranger in our nation's history. Uh, her job basically consisted of uh, taking the um, entrance fees uh, from the park's gates to uh, the park uh, at Tuolumne Meadows to the park headquarters, um, which was a journey that required an overnight uh, trip on horseback. Um, she wore the same clothes as her male rangers. The only difference was she refused to carry a gun, which made her very, very unique uh, in the late 19-teens, early 1920s, uh, in terms of fashion that she was willing to kind of adopt the same clothing styles as the male rangers. Probably the most significant thing about her, she was not with the Park Service very long, but for 30 years she was the only fully paid uh, ranger, female ranger, in uh, the National Park Service, which shows just kind of the huge shift uh, that it took uh, for women to become involved as park rangers uh, in the National Park Service. And so because of all of this, she's honored as one of the ranger badges you can earn in my gamified class. This has been History in a Hurry.